Welcome, people of planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and this is Heat Check, our top 10 countdown of the highest selling vintage Levi's on eBay this week. Let's take a look. So, this week's list is absolutely bonkers. Quite possibly, it definitely is, I think, the highest grossing. Uh, list we have seen so far. There are some crazy pairs that sold this week. Uh, so super, super duper exciting. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's dig in and see what crazy Levi's sold just this week. Number 10, we have this beautiful pair of a Levi's 502s is what I believe they are. Uh, they do have hidden rivets, obviously a big E as well. These are a beautiful pair. Uh, according to the seller, they were his grandfather's. Uh, beautiful. You can see where the uh, the uh, hidden rivets have sort of worn through. You can go and see the hidden rivets uh, here in the back as well. Let's see where those hidden rivets at. There they are. Some beautiful hidden rivets right there. Uh, beautiful pair. Probably a 502. Could, I guess, technically be a uh, uh, 551Z. It's possible. Um, but my guess is a 502 uh, they would have been from this era as well um, I actually found one of these pairs uh, at the thrift store probably my best thrift store Levi's find ever ever um, I remember it was uh, it was quite the it's quite the experience so super cool pair of jeans right here this one sold for eight hundred dollars uh, he did take a best offer uh, uh, as uh, to end the uh, bidding Next up, we have this vintage Levi's 501 60s S-type Biggie Redline Selvage Jeans, 29 by 29. Uh, these are a real, look at the blue on these things, looks really good. Um, looks like there is a little bit of wear here and there, but otherwise, I mean, it's an incredible uh, pair of jeans right here. Still has the patch on it. The uh, arcuates are shallow and they look like they're in good condition. You have the Big E here. Now let's see if they show us the, yeah, there it is. The back patch has the S above it. Uh, that would have been uh, pretty typical of this late 60s era. Uh, we have uh, we have the V-stitch you can see right here. And this selvage, beautiful pair of 501s. Uh, this one did not do, obviously, as crazy as the uh, as some that are going to be on this list. But this one went for a cool $1,000 plus shipping. Uh, beautiful pair of jeans right here. Next up, we have a Type 2 denim jacket, uh, as all uh, original Type 2s are big E. Uh, no, we can see where the label has been removed uh, over time. Still pretty good color on this. Some of the bleeding is still uh, secured there, so that's real nice. Uh, let's see if there's any other interesting features about this one. Uh, I mean, otherwise, I mean, it's a beautiful jacket. Looks like so much of it is in good condition. I don't see any rips or significant stains of any sort uh, so far. Yeah, we've got a uh, clean back here. Look at that. That's just gore. It looks like maybe some, some maybe some soiling, some uh, just some dirt built in over time. But this is a pretty standard uh, Type 2 that we see on this list, and uh, it did just fine. It went for $1,200, uh, which is uh, a pretty good uh, price for a uh, for a Type 2 denim jacket. A beautiful jacket here uh, at number 8. Then we have another uh, one of these Shorthorn uh, Pearl Snaps that have made the list. We have been seeing these actually quite often recently. This one is probably the most immaculate one we have seen so far. This is super, super clean. Uh, you have all of the beautiful pearl snaps. I think the last one we had was actually sold by a viewer uh, of the channel subscriber. It looks like uh, we had that one marked there. That's like, ooh. Uh, everything being so much more per so pristine so far, and you just get that. Uh, it's a real big bummer. Uh, but super beautiful uh, uh, tag here. One of my favorite tags for sure. Um, incredible, incredible shirt here. Uh, this one went for big, big money. Uh, <laughs> incredible. $14.99.99 plus shipping. They got what they wanted for it. Uh, what an incredible piece, especially in this condition. Very hard to find. Next up, we have this vintage pair of 505s. 505s have been creeping up on this list. 
Uh, it, it, this is a dead stock pair. Obviously, dead stock pairs tend to do uh, much better than their used counterparts. I mean, you have so much going for it on this particular uh, pair of jeans. You do have it's a, it is a little e, so this is probably right there at the end of the era. Obviously, the transitional era. Um, an incredible pair of jeans. This is actually interesting. It has a tag. This might be actually quite a bit later than that. Um, let's or not quite a bit later. Uh, yeah, it looks like we have uh, 71 probably is what it looks like here to me. Uh, that's interesting because you don't normally see the tags uh, this early. A lot of times it's just printed on the um, the pocket bag. So that's an interesting feature here. Uh, otherwise, a super beautiful pair of jeans. Looks like maybe have a little bit of damage from uh, just time. But otherwise, beautiful pair went for 22 25 with 24 bids, plus shipping, incredible sale, an incredible pair of jeans. Next up, we have a very beautiful pair of jeans, and I love these photos. Fantastic photos. These are such, such, such good photos. Um, it's well lit. You can see all the elements. You can see the selvage. So good. Uh, a beautiful pair of 60s 501s here. Uh, big E, we have the A atop the 501, which is what we would expect. Um, selvage is beautiful. These look like close to dead stock V stitch. Uh, we have the 4 and the stamp, uh, definitely giving us a late 60s. Uh, there are no uh, hidden rivets, so these are late 60s, is my, is, uh, my guess. A beautiful pair of jeans, uh, almost. Uh, I mean, with these photos, it makes it look even more enticing, which is one of the reasons why it did so well. It sold for $2,400 plus shipping uh, out of Fredericksburg, Virginia. I used to live there. Fantastic. I wish maybe these were hidden somewhere in a thrift store. I could have found them when I lived there. Oh, well. Uh, super cool, super cool pair of jeans. Next up, we have another Type 2, and look at the color on this one. Not only is the color beautiful, but you do have the... Uh, label on the back and you don't normally see this it has the 507 double X a lot of times this stuff has been removed uh, This one looks like uh, such an incredible piece uh, You do not find these very often in this condition. We've said it before um, uh, This might be I mean this is definitely a contender for one of the best-looking uh, uh, Type twos that I've seen on this list uh, for sure um, and because it looks so good and it is in such good condition, it did go for a premium of $2,800 plus shipping. Uh, fantastic, fantastic jacket here. Speaking of beautiful Type 2s, we have this gorgeous Type 2 with lots of deep color still in it. Uh, looks uh, like it's hardly worn. You can see that, is that a, I believe that is, a, is that a, almost looks like a leather patch. Um, and it's quite possible that it is. It actually looks like a leather patch to me, um, which would be more indicative of very early, um, uh, early 50s here. And the blanket line. You just don't, the blanket lines are much harder to find. Uh, obviously, you don't find them as often. And look at that deep blue. It's like, it's like it just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> we have the blanket line here. Uh, interesting, it says 60% reused wool, uh, curiously enough. Um, I don't necessarily know that, that if Troy was the one who's in charge of that, but what an amazing jacket nonetheless. Uh, hard to find one of these. You don't see them very often. Uh, explains the price. $3,400 plus shipping. Um, one of the coolest Type 2s I have ever seen. At number 2, we have this 501 from 1947 or post-World War II era with a leather tag. Um, we, this one was posted in our Discord, which you can join in the link below. Um, and we all had a, an opinion on it. It is a beautiful pair of jeans, incredibly deep blue for its age. Um, you can see here uh, the selvage denim right there. Um, all this stuff uh, is great. You can actually see that it only has uh, Levi's on one side, which is even more incredible. Um, but what's so fr a little bit frustrating about this um, is that it has a leather patch, but they don't really show us a good picture of the leather patch. Obviously, you're not going to probably be able to see much at this point. Um, it's just a jerky patch. Um, but it would have been nice to see that. I think there's probably also would have been nice. I don't think there's a, not a real good picture of the back. Although, is there? 
good picture of the backside even either, uh, which is a little frustrating. But still, what an incredible piece! Uh, this is uh, definitely one that we have not really had on this. I don't think we've had something like quite like this on this list to date, and that's one of the reasons why it did so well. Sold for four thousand and fifty dollars. Uh, the buyer was probably international, I'd guess, because this one uh, sold. Um, uh, had almost $100 worth of shipping uh, with 11 bids. Might have done even a little bit better had the pictures been a little bit more uh, uh, appealing and, and interesting and uh, helpful. So uh, either way, what an incredible sale for sure. So uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Before we get to number one, I do want to remind you, if you want to support the channel, it's just $2.99 per month. You can join memberships down below. It really helps us out to do these videos and do better videos and more videos. So if you want to support the channel, uh, hit the join it button down below. If not, totally cool. Enjoy having you here either way. Right now at number one, we have Levi's 501 Vintage. What a title. <laughs> that was the original text. Um, uh, they might need to, you would think maybe they need some keyword training, but dang, they did a pretty good job <laughs> either way. Um, obviously, this person says they don't know much about it. I don't know where they found it, but it's a beautiful 501. Is that, let's see, let's see closer up to the patch. Uh, would be nice. Nope, is that the best patch view we have right there? Um, the 501 SX. Um, beautiful, incredibly deep blue, looks basically dead stock. You can kind of see maybe a little bit of shrinkage around the patch. Uh, so I would imagine maybe not quite dead stock, but uh, super crazy here. Uh, beautiful pair of jeans. Now you got the deep V, arc or deep v arcuates with the pale uh, thread. You have the uh, hidden rivets, V stitch, all of that jazz is what you would expect. These pictures aren't fantastic, but they're not bad. You have the offset. Uh, you have the offset uh, belt loop there. Uh, incredible pair of jeans, beautiful in every way, and a good size too. I think the size is like 30, yeah, 34, 31 is a pretty pretty good size for sure. On auction with 23 bids, it tops us at number one with $5,600 sale. Um, fantastic. Congratulations to the buyer and the seller for this incredible pickup and this wonderful sale to top us off at number one. So that was the top 10 mind blowing. So many crazy sales this week. Uh, so many dope, amazing pieces. Uh, definitely one of the craziest lists we've seen so far. Uh, those last couple 501s, incredible. Those five, those uh, type twos, just mind blowing. Most of those would have topped the list on any other given day. What a crazy week. Uh, for the top 10 heat check video this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.